took America by storm with her official preppy handbook. She joins me now with her new book, True Prep. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Allie. Thanks for being here. So what does it mean to be a preppy? Well, traditionally, a preppy is somebody who either goes to prep school, went to prep school, was thrown out of prep school, or two or three, <laughs> uh, or, you know, is aspiring to prep school. But on the other hand, you can look that way and adapt the attitudes of a preppy without having the education. The education is a great thing to have if you can get it. So you don't, you don't have to have both. You can just dress the part. Well, ideally, <laughs> yes, but you can dress it. So 30 years ago, you, you came out with the official preppy handbook. Were you shocked when it just sort of took off and became so successful? Yes, I was, because um, I thought the, the world that would be interested in preppies would only be preppies. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that Americans would read the book as a self-help book, as a guidebook, as a, people called it a Bible. You know, they went through the book and decided this is the kind of dog they wanted, this is the suburb they wanted to live in, this is the sport they would take up, and they made me give them nicknames. It was a lot of pressure, but I rose to the occasion. Very nice. So after 30 years, you decided to make a sequel. Why is that? Well, uh, True Prep isn't exactly a sequel. It's kind of what happens in the 21st century in, mm -hmm. in a, uh, I hate to say it, reality TV is a big issue for us. Oh, really? Well, yes, because you give up your privacy, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not preppy. You know, we like our privacy. <laughs> I was told that my outfit isn't very preppy. No, it's not a knock, Allie. Mm. You're a cute girl. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, I mean, didn't, weren't, didn't you think when you went on a show like The Bachelor that you'd have to, you know, they'd see you at all times, good and bad? Yeah, I think I, I, I figured that. Yeah, and that, that That's not what a preppy, that's not the preppy way. No, didn't that make you nervous? No. Really? Okay. <laughs> well... It, well, you're 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 modern. I'm I may be a fuddy duddy. Um, reality TV, cell mm -hmm. phones, um, bad manners all over the place. People texting at the table. Mm -hmm. That's not prep. And it was really time to open up and update. And, and there have been scandals that affect us. Some terrible things. So it, it was time to write about it. So so I guess time to write about it, it's because of the introduction of cell phones and the technology that we have. Is Polar that, fleece, changing? it's all changed. You know, mm -hmm. 30 years ago, preppies wouldn't wear unnatural fibers. Now you all wear fleece. I wear fleece. I mean, I'm wearing a recycled Fresca can. I can't believe it. Okay, well, I guess let's jump right in and talk about these preppy looks. So okay. let's look at our first model over here. Yona is wearing a very traditional look from Brooks Brothers. And I know there's a Brooks Brothers in La Jolla mm -hmm. and they're all over the country. And it's a camel hair blazer, an argyle sweater or vest, a button down shirt, khaki pants, a very traditional looking bag. And she's wearing the True Prep crest on her wrist. And we have a Latin motto that says, Latin spoken here, because all old schools and, and traditional things have Latin. She looks great. So I was sort of thinking preppy is like more traditional, but you can sort of bring that into a little modern, but right. keeping well, it traditional? Absolutely. For example, clothes fit much better now than they did 30 years mm -hmm. ago, because there's an eensy bit of stretch. So clothes are more body conscious. We all have better bodies than we had 30 years ago because of Pilates and mm -hmm. working out and so on. Well, so she, looks she looks great. Great to me. And all right, let's move on to our second model. And he looks very. This is Josh. He. This is like it fits him with a glove, like a glove yeah. rather, and so so much so that he's going to be wearing these clothes. Uh, he, very preppy. He's going to borrow them. He'll probably forget to return them because that's what we preppies do. That's how we accumulate wardrobe. <laughs> Come on to you, Josh. He's wearing a classic blue blazer. Everyone needs a blue blazer. Everyone. Whether you're boy, girl, child, possum, every mammal should have one. Khaki pants and a lovely Oxford cloth shirt and rep tie, a striped tie. Okay. And uh, that's also from Brooks Brothers. He looks great. He looks like he's ready to run for office. So <laughs> You know what? You do. You <laughs> absolutely does. do. And we can talk about the Obamas because that's a new thing, too, in Preptum. So a black preppy president. Okay, so let's actually move on to the next but let's look. let's move on to Mike. He's wearing uh, uh, classic red trousers. I think you have to be very confident to wear them, and he is. A button-down striped shirt, a beautiful web belt from Brooks Brothers that matches exactly, pulls the whole thing together, a bow tie, and a cardigan. This could be, Mike could look like, um, 
like an art dealer, mm -hmm. like an antique expert, like an editor in book publishing. He looks very sort of artsy preppy. Absolutely, and I love the bow tie, but I'm noticing the, the next model has a, has a regular tie on. This well, looks great. Well, it's kind of funky for a girl, but why not? Mm -hmm. And this is Erin, and she's wearing uh, purple, which is a color we didn't used to wear before. It was all pink and green and navy and white. And the purple looks great. Also, Brooks Brothers, a pair of corduroy pants. And I think the tie is funky. I love it. And I actually, I'm really liking the preppy look. I think I'm going to give it a try. So you, you at home can go to fox5sandiego.com for more from Lisa's book, True Prep, and to get the styles that you saw today on our show.